So guys, Bitcoin just broke below $19,500. I lost around $500 with my long position that I had yesterday. Still opened overnight, guys. I lost around $500, but I still took this opportunity right now and I just bought around 0.54 Bitcoins today only with spot guys so for approximately ten thousand five hundred dollars as you can see i bought around 0.54 bitcoins and i'm definitely taking advantage of this sell-off right here and i will explain you in today's video what i'm looking out for right now in the immediate short term but also for the upcoming days and weeks guys so uh yeah we will talk about everything i will also give you my opinion about the next um interest rate hikes in about two days and if you appreciate that just drop a like right now it takes only one second guys i would really appreciate that let's try to reach 300 likes in today's video also before we're getting into today's video guys only with my link down below you will get up to eight thousand dollars deposit bonus on bitget and on top of that 15 percent of trading fees so it is definitely a win-win situation for all of us guys make sure to sign up with my link down below right now click deposit claim rewards up to 8k and 15% of trading fees if you are trading somewhere else right now and you start to trade on bitget with my link down below you will also get a chance to win up to $1,000 only for 10 random people for the first 1,000 people who are signing up with my link down below and I'm also giving away 10 spots for my patron where I'm always sharing all of my trade signals guys all right so let's talk Bitcoin real quick overall guys market overview as you can see we are definitely huge uh, yeah, we are definitely in red. We are currently down about 6% in the last 24 hours. Global crypto market cap right now around 1 trillion 909 billion US dollars. Basically, we are 100 billion below 1 trillion US dollars, guys. Bitcoin is down about 6% in the last 24 hours. Ethereum is down about 8.7%. Uh, and overall, guys, you can see how Ethereum is taking a huge hit. We are currently down about 25% in the last seven days and down about 20% in the last 30 days, right? So if we are looking on this chart right now, I'll talk about this chart later in this video, guys. But first of all, let me give you some of my next potential immediate short-term targets. Also, before I forget it, guys, I'm always looking at the crypto fear and greed index, right? And we, what we can see right now is that people are shitting in their pants again. We are still, we are getting again into extreme fear and it is always the same psychology stuff, guys. If the price is going down like we are seeing right now, people are getting fearful and people are taking huge losses, right? And this is basically what we are seeing right now. What we can also see on Bitcoin liquidations, guys, on CoinGlass, we can also see that over the last couple of days, we had approximately here $225 million liquidations. Today, already $160 million, only long liquidations. A couple of days ago, $200 million. Then also $270 million in the last couple of days, guys. So a lot of people definitely got tracked right now. We have a lot of liquidations and a lot of sh long traders are getting wrecked right now guys but this will definitely have an end and i will talk about that in today's video so in the immediate short term what happened we just broke below this very important key horizontal support that i was talking about over and over again guys around nineteen thousand and five hundred dollars we had a small retest at this previous support zone from september 2022 around eighteen thousand six hundred dollars however we did not manage to hold it and we went all the way down to about eighteen thousand three hundred dollars then we found finally some support for Bitcoin and right now we are currently up from this previous low around 2%. Unfortunately, I did not catch this move with the, with the leverage trade. But like I said already, I took this opportunity today when I woke up and bought around 0.54 Bitcoins for approximately 10K. And I'm also still waiting right now because... If we are getting another sell-off right into this zone right here, I am still interested to buy more Bitcoin, especially for spot guys. And everything be between 15 to 16K will be one of the best buying opportunities in our lifetime, in my opinion, guys, all right? So in the immediate short term, what am I looking out for right now? Quite simple, you can see that if we are going into the yeah, 30 minute time frame, we can see that we have definitely some resistance around $18,800. So the best case scenario for Bitcoin right now would be a potential breakout above 18.8K and we are getting some type of short-term recovery, 
right this could definitely happen guys all right and this is not very unrealistic because the last time we had also exactly the same price action bitcoin had this huge crash right here all the way down to about 18.7k and what happened guys in about from 7 september until 11 in about four days we had an increase on only on bitcoin of about 20 percent guys all right 20 percent and i think the same scenario could actually happen right now again for Bitcoin. So basically what I'm looking out for right now is a potential V-shape recovery. Like I said, the best case scenario for Bitcoin would be a potential breakout above $18,800. If we are getting a sustainable breakout, then the next target for Bitcoin would be at approximately 195 k otherwise if we are going down again with the price right and we are entering again this area around eighteen thousand dollars then the last area of support guys obviously i don't have to lie to you the next support for bitcoin guys would be around seventeen thousand and six hundred seventeen thousand and five hundred dollars from this previous low in june 2022 guys so this would be actually the last psychological support for bitcoin but only if we are breaking down right now below 18,600 uh, sorry 18,200 dollars for me in my opinion a lot of stuff is definitely speaking right now for a potential breakout this is just my opinion guys because I think Bitcoin is definitely oversold I also think that the time to short Bitcoin was right here around 23k and I th actually think that sooner or later guys you can definitely expect some type of short-term um, recovery on Bitcoin and I think we can definitely go all the way up again to about 21 22k in the next couple of days so now this is a real quick something I want to talk about guys by the way also make sure to follow me on Twitter all right guys crypto Dubai 7 the link is down below make sure to follow me on Twitter right now but this is a chart that I want to talk about real quick guys from stock money lizards shout out to him um, so basically what we are seeing on this chart guys is the yellow line basically the 200 SMA line and the um, yeah the pink line the 150 SMA line right and let me pull out my camera real quick so guys what we are seeing right here is basically since 2015 since this previous bull cycle from to $1,000 when Bitcoin dropped all the way down to about $200 guys you can see very clear how the 150 and also the 200 SMA line was always acting as a huge area of support right here for one time then the same happened again guys Bitcoin went all the way down from 20k to approximately 6.4 sorry I think it should be around 3k also $3,200 also in 2019 if I'm not wrong and you can see also guys how the 150 SMA line was acting perfectly as a huge area of support right and then the same again guys when Bitcoin dropped from 11k or so all the way down in 2020 March all the way down to about $3,800 or so you can also see how the 200 SMA line was perfectly acting as a huge support and right now guys we are currently seeing exactly the same scenario again bitcoin is right now breaking all the way down to about eighteen thousand dollars and we are getting right now a perfect retest at 200 and also the 150 sma line i don't want to say guys don't get me wrong only because the last two times in the last previous bull cycles we had always supported the 100 and 200 sma line doesn't mean that it will be exactly the same time again but I would definitely say the historical charts are always a very reliable indicator and I would definitely take a very close look on that right now and I think that the chance for potential bounce from 150 to the uh, or the 200 SMA line and potential bonds from here all the way up to about 30k or so is definitely quite realistic guys so if we are looking right now on the daily time frame I want to explain you something real quick guys you have to understand that we are currently entering a potential panic zone on Bitcoin why because since June 2022 we didn't retest this previous low around seventeen thousand five hundred dollars for one single time again right and you have to understand guys the retail traders they have right now all all eyes right now from the retail investors are currently around seventeen thousand five hundred dollars so what do you think will happen if bitcoin is breaking below seventeen thousand five hundred dollars guys let me explain you real quick so you have to understand let's say this is the support area on bitcoin right seventeen point 5k so this 
let's say this is the price action on bitcoin 17.5k this is the support area right so you have to understand guys that a lot of people are currently taking long positions from seventeen thousand five hundred dollars right so we have a lot of people who are currently long on bitcoin right here in this range so what do you think will happen if bitcoin is going for is breaking below seventeen thousand five hundred dollars guys we will see a huge panic breaking out on bitcoin and this is will be the zone like i already said guys the panic zone where everyone will scream that bitcoin is going down all the way to about 10 or 12k all right and guys most of the time you have to understand if 70 percent of the people i'm always saying that if 70 to 90 percent of the people are leaning into one direction guys right everyone is screaming when everyone was screaming bitcoin is going to 100k what happened what happened guys we went all the way down to about 17k again so what i'm trying to say is you have to see it always from the psychological perspective if 90 percent of the people are saying if bitcoin is entering this zone right here this panic zone that i'm talking about between 15 to 17.5k and if 70 to 90 percent are saying that bitcoin is going down to about 10k again this is where you want to take a huge risk guys i don't want to animate you i don't want to tell you that you should do it that you should buy a lot of bitcoins right now or at around 15k this is obviously not financial advice guys but i'm just trying to say that i will definitely take advantage of that and if bitcoin should go to 15k again I will definitely take a huge risk i will definitely buy spot and not only that guys i will probably enter some 10x and 5x leveraged long positions guys all right because this could be the potential overall bottom for bitcoin all right because if you're actually also going back in 2017 and again let me pull out the weekly time frame real quick on bitcoin guys I don't know why my fucking internet is lagging right now guys i'm sorry for that fuck trading you bro so what i'm trying to say guys in the previous bull cycles in 2020 it is always the same scenario guys bitcoin is breaking key support everyone is saying bitcoin is going down back again to 1k 2k this is then the bottom and bitcoin is going up like crazy then same scenario in 2017 bitcoin is forming support we are breaking down bitcoin breaking is breaking down from 5.7k with about 40 percent all the way down to about 3.2k everyone is saying bitcoin is dead bitcoin is going down to 1k 2k what is happening the bit the bottom is in and we are seeing another we are, we are seeing another huge um, bitcoin rally guys right and i think this time will be not different even if you are breaking below 17.5k right and if you are breaking this key support right here and we are going all the way down let's say to about 13 14 15k i think this could be the bottom for bitcoin and after that we could see a potential short-term recovery all the way up to about thirty thousand dollars also like i said guys i can be completely wrong about that don't get me wrong i can be completely wrong about that but i think the uh, put the risk to take the long position and to buy spot between 15 to 13k is definitely worth it even if bitcoin is going down to 5 7 8 9k also again guys so this is just trying something i'm trying you to make understand guys always not don't 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 go with the crowd guys always try to think for yourself and always try to understand what is going in the market and why something is going down like crazy or why something is going up like crazy guys and then guys obviously the most important um crypto news this week of course the uh, F fomc meeting in about two days right as you can see guys we have currently priced in a pot potential 75 basis point interest rate hike and currently priced in with about 20 percent a potential 100 basis point interest rate hike guys right and this is also the reason why we are getting such price action because the market is currently pricing in a potential 75 basis point interest rate hike simple as that so what I would be looking out for right now is quite simple guys i actually think i already told uh, told you in my last video i think even if you're getting another 75 basis point interest rate hike even if you are getting another 100 basis point interest rate hike i think this week could be actually bullish for 
uh, the traditional markets and it's also for Bitcoin guys because like I said everything is already priced in I think we are not going way lower from here even if we are going lower we have still a lot of support around 3700 as you can see on the uh, S&P 500 mini futures around 3700 is still a huge area of support so I think most of it is already priced in in the next one or two days and also the dxy guys as you can see still looking strong we are not seeing any type of rejection right now the trend is still very clear we are still seeing a huge uptrend for the dxy guys and there is no um, sign of weakness right now on the dxy i would say only if the dxy is going down dollar index is going down again into th these areas around 104 106 then we can maybe talk about the potential short-term recovery for the s p 500 and also for bitcoin obviously but for now like i said i think this week could be actually bullish a lot of stuff is definitely speaking for that and i think most of it is already priced in like i said around 3850 50 so for bitcoin like i already mentioned guys just look right now at this support area around 17,500, 18,000. even if you are breaking down below it i think it could represent ours for us a huge opportunity for bitcoin i will definitely buy a lot somewhere between 15 16 17 thousand dollars i will take the risk i will buy spot and i will also buy leverage guys and if you also want to do it and if you also want to trade like i said the link is down below check out bitget up to eight thousand dollars only with my link down below and only with my link 15% off trading fees on BitGet guys one of the best exchanges out there and everyone who's trading somewhere else is definitely completely lost guys click the left video right now to how to uh, see how to trade Bitcoin on BitGet click the right one for a trading strategy and with that being said join the free telegram channel and like I said already in the beginning guys make sure to follow me on Twitter right now crypto two by seven the link is also down below guys make sure to follow me on Twitter and I would say guys see you for another one bye bye